Okay, so we are on lesson 6.1. We're going to cover pages 34 and 35 here. And um, we're actually going to cover the slope intercept form. And this is actually one of the more important concepts uh, in algebra. So uh, it's important to kind of learn this because this helps you to graph equations. And uh, it's um, basically it, it's an equation or it's a, it's a, yeah, it's an equation that, that makes it a lot easier to 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 graph graph things so uh, I'm gonna stop saying graph um, <laughs> anyway the slope intercept form is right here uh, on that on this explain one uh, a part uh, you can read that for yourself but basically let me zoom in here when you have an equation in this form where uh, you have the y um, and you have the m which is the slope and then you have the x value and then you have the b value which is the y intercept right it'll help you uh, it'll make it things a lot easier to graph now me just telling you that uh, won't help anything so let's just jump into it so we can uh, kind of learn how to do this because uh, if this is your first time hearing about the slope intercept form or the slope intercept equation um, that meant absolutely nothing to you so Let's jump into this. Question number one, find an equation of the line with slope 3 that contains that point, negative 7, 11. Okay, so as we noticed, or the, as we should have noticed in equa uh, explain 1a, uh, the slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And so we are told that the slope is 3. So again, the m is the slope value. So I'm going to go ahead and and put 3 in for where the m used to be. And then uh, we are given this point here as well. Uh, and again, that's the x value, that's the y value. So all we have to do is plug it in. And the reason why we're going to plug it in, plug those values in, is because that will tell, you, tell us what the, the b value is. So let's plug in 11 for y, since that's the y value. I'm going to repeat the 3 there. Instead of the x, I'm going to put negative 7 plus b. And then when we go ahead and uh, simplify that, 3 times negative 7 is negative 21 plus b. And then I need to move this 21 over to the other side by adding it to both sides. And when we do that, let me move this up a little bit, we end up with 32 equals b. Now we are not done yet. We're going to plug it back into this original beginning equation here so let's go with y equals 3x and then we found out that b was 32 so plus 32 so that is our answer y equals 3x plus 32 okay let's do the same thing for question number two so find the equation of a line with the slope 3 over 5 that contains the point 10 comma negative 6 so again here's the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. We are told that the slope is 3 over 5. Oops, maybe I should circle it a little better. 3 over 5, so y equals 3 over 5x plus b. And then we want to add these points in there, or fold these points in there. That's the x value, that's the y value again. So y value is negative 6. And then we have 3 over 5 times the x value of 10 plus b. So let's go ahead and simplify that out. Negative 6 equals uh, 3 over 5 times 10 is going to be, um, there's a couple ways to do this. I'm just going to multiply the numerators together, which is which are the 3 and the 10. So that's 30 over 5 plus b. And then we can actually simplify 30 over 5, right? 30 can be divided by 5 six times. So this can actually be rewritten as 6. And then we are going to uh, we want to isolate that b. We want to get it by itself. So we got to move this guy over here by doing the opposite. We're going to subtract 6, and that way this goes away. And negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12 equals b. So we found our y-intercept there. And then let's just plug it back in here. y equals 3 over 5x. And our, we found out our b was negative 12, so I'm just going to put minus 12. I could have written plus negative 12 as well, but... Uh, I'm just going to simplify it that way. All right, 
next page let's go and take a look at the next pages we're gonna um, now create linear equations in slope intercept form given two points okay so it's not really much different we just have an additional step of trying to find the slope and so we're gonna we're gonna in, we're gonna kind of apply what we learned earlier in this credit of finding the slope first so uh, we you should remember that the slope uh, to find the slope the slope um, the equation to find the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and so let's do what we did uh, on the previous pages here I'm gonna call this x1 and y1 and I'm gonna call this uh, x2 and y2 so let's go ahead and plug those in I'm gonna do y2 minus y1 so 18 minus 4 first 18 minus 4 over 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 so if we do that 18 minus 4 is what is that 14 3 minus 1 is 2 and if we further simplify that it's 7 so our slope ends up being 7 so we are almost there uh, and then we're going to do what we did on the previous page. y equals mx plus b as our slope-intercept form. We just found out that m equals 7, so y equals 7x plus b. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to plug in one of the points. Um, I'm going to plug in this one here, 1 and 4, because I think those numbers are easier to work with. Our, x val so our y value is 4 here. Um, equals 7 times 1 7 times 1 so I like that 7 times 1 is easy to deal with 4 equals 7 plus B oops B subtract 7 from both sides I'm running out of room uh, this makes that go away 4 minus 7 is negative 3 equals B actually let me move this over a little bit so this is where we end up with as our y-intercept and then we're just gonna plug it into to this equation we've been working with so y equals 7x and then our y-intercept is negative 3 so minus 3 so there is our final equation in slope intercept form okay question number four let's find the slope again m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 this is going to be the first point, second point. x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, so y2 is 5, y1 is 6. So we're going to do, we're going to do 5 minus 6 over 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6. When we do that, 5 minus 6 is negative 1. 9 minus 6 is 3. So here's our slope. That's our slope. So let's plug it into the slope-intercept form. y equals uh, negative one-third x plus b. So I put that negative one-third right here instead of the m. So let's pick a point, 6, comma 6, or 9, comma 5. Let's work with the 6, comma 6. Um, you could pick the other one. You would still get the exact same answer. But uh, negative one-third times 6 plus b. And again... I got the y and the x value from here. Uh, let's see. So 6 equals, uh, if we multiply negative 1 third and 6, uh, you should get negative 6 over 3. And if you're still a little unsure about your fraction operations, when you're especially when you're multiplying, ask your teacher about that. Because um, we do have a math, math foundations credit that can help you with that. Um, Let's go ahead and simplify that negative 6 over 3 right here. Negative 6 over 3 is going to become negative 2 because negative 6 divided by 3 is uh, negative 2. Okay, we want to isolate that b, so let's get rid of this guy here by adding 2 to both sides. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, and this goes away. So 8 is our y-intercept, 8 equals b. And then let's plug it in to right there to our original equation. y equals negative 1 third x, and then our y-intercept is 8. So there is our final equation.